what can only be described, gentlemen, as a grand entrance, which must lead eventually to hopefully a, a wealthy benefactor. This guy's got butlers and guards and, you know, who is this person? But there is a reserved cultural taste to the furniture, to the carpentry. Like, it's not gaudy and show off like ma mafia, boss thing, criminals and, and, and high nobility or even savory nobility that some of you have encountered, specifically Lily Rawl. Reminds me of the university. Luckily. Yes, yes. We have, we have much of... Uh to learn here and to study. Um, uh, yes, uh, and that piece over there is uh, from the uh, Yarvin province. It's fascinating, a thousand years old. And uh, this over here, and he starts talking about all the various uh, artifacts that you can see. Okay. Guys, yeah, Dr. Leth kind of like made a comment and, and instantly halts the line as the mo maitre domo proudly starts talking about what's around you and the line and everything just comes to a crushing halt. You're not barely yes. even halfway down. You're going to hear from the back, Poser, yell out, nerd. Oh. <laughs> Very well, you wish to get this along then. <sighs> Follow me. <laughs> Suddenly, almost facing a wall, like not even halfway down this hallway, the maitre domo, again, militant style, turns and just faces a wall and waits. And the entire wall opens up to what looks to be an opulent chamber. And he motions you guys inside. This is where he keeps the ladies. Did you guys all file in there? Yep. Okay. The honor guard starts rank and file, positioning itself notably, but respectfully outside the room, leaving you guys privacy. And with that, once you guys are all ushered inside, the maitre d' leaves you with a final word of... All righty then. May the... Oh, well, whatever. That's the title for this next episode, is May the dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah, there's the name of the episode. He, okay. He's about to sort of grant you good luck on a religious, spiritual, and all things considered Star Wars type fashion, and then thinks twice about it, slaps the door, and the whole wall just closes in front of you guys, and you guys are yeah. left in what appears to be a grand hall. Begins hurriedly co coaching Rahal on mannerisms. I listen patiently, and then when he's done his explanation, I just kind of give him a flat look and say, no offense, uh, doctor, but this ain't my first rodeo. I'd assume as much, but I'd rather not be guiding as often as I could. It is, right, it is quite tiring to interact with people. <laughs> Understandably, and I appreciate the input. Gentlemen, you are not kept waiting long. The doors to the Grand Hall open, and in strides a middle-aged man who has a well-kept goatee and is wearing senatorial robes. Easily recognizable as Bale Organa. He smiles and nods, and then turns towards you. Welcome to Alderaan, 